No, please, no more girls. I need my rest, man. Hey, there ain't All room right, in here for the both of us. Uh, well, listen, I guess you want some advice on your performance What's tonight. This guy? Who the hell is this guy? Girls? What's up? Hey, you know, is this your friend, dude? I don't know this guy. Yeah, you guys remember me, right? Yeah, I'm the host of the paper. How'd you get in here? What's your guy in the back? You look very comfortable, but actually this is our dressing room, bro. You're I'm drinking sorry. our booze. Well, it said star on the door. I thought this was uh, Mara. Jimbo! It's not Mara. Nick! Nick, Nick. Oh, Jimbo, did you, did you please show this gentleman to his dressing room, please? He's got trash can around. Hey, see you after the show. I need a bigger room. This is kind of crap for me. White trash. Y'all just holler at him in the gas. What a schmuck. Get out of here. Hey, take the garbage out. Throw him in the janitor cage. Some people. <laughs> hey, that's right. I mean, my people will call your people and we'll do lunch together. I mean, these guys from Warren, they love me. You know, I'm sure this is a big misunderstanding. Oh, this is my way to my dressing room? It's much better than I thought it would be. Oh, here, it must be a big sweep. Oh, this is the one I love it. Whoa! Hey, guys! So they went? Well, you know, these guys, they're such jokesters, but hey, you know something? They're even better musicians, and they're gonna rock the Cajun Dome tonight. So here they are, the one and only Warren. It's my dressing room. Understand? Do you know which way the stage is? <laughs> that way? Who's that fat guy? Hey, short portly, come here. <laughs> he used to work for Zachary Ellis, so they fired his ass. Did we get rid of that blonde guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, was room. yeah we kicked his ass. He's in the janitor closet. Um, we got the end of him. Hanging out with some rocks and brooms. He said he was hosting something here tonight, but we're going to keep him in there tonight, right? If he doesn't have the right pass, we've got to get him out of there. got to keep the shit well, out of there. you know what you got to do for a pass, right? That's right. That's yeah. right. That's what you got to do for a pass.
It's hotter than a motherfucker in here tonight, man. time a lot with me the first with me the last I'm sure I'll be wrong again but I do not think I'm wrong when I say tonight it sounds like Lafayette Louisiana came to kick some ass yeah. well Mr. Janie Lane's in the mood to fucking rock and roll tonight man I'll tell you what say this real quick. I'm going to say this real quick. Y'all better grab onto this. Tonight, y'all are going to be on every cable network in the fucking world. You know what I mean? Yes, indeed, Lafayette, Louisiana is going to creep into about 17 million homes tonight. You know what I mean? So... Now's the time to get wild, obnoxious, drunk, and perverted, and all that kind of shit. I'll tell you what, this is a uh, shit. Look at that, that's happening, man. Thank you very much. I'll wear that at the next toga party I go to, okay? All right, now check it out. Check it out, y'all. This is my, this is one of my one of my favorite songs in the world. Cause I wrote it. <laughs> no, this is one of my favorite songs in the world. I really love this song. I wrote it. I wrote it about it. I wrote it about this particular state, so it takes on a special meaning tonight. And uh, I want to hear y'all. If you happen to know this song, man, do me a favor and sing along with it. Just follow the regulars and get the style straight. Look at time of fishing, it was getting pretty late. Half on a saddle, still a book of wishing well. See, it got no bottom, see, it takes you down to hell. Soon as they were gone, 
time got down Pan ran high, baby, wouldn't make a sound Running through the woods, back to Uncle Tom Shack Boom, moon shines through the rooftop That wasn't pubic. Heal the wishes, I feel hard tonight I feel the sweat trickling down my chest Down between my balls Y'all are kicking some ass tonight Woo! Make me very, very happy I came here. You know, it's my first time playing here, man. I've been to Shreveport, I've been to, I've been to New Orleans. You know, I never got a chance to play the Cajun Dome before, and man, I didn't know what the fuck I was missing. Get nice and get nice and sleazy for me. I dance. 
damn, that tastes good. Ah, right, check it out, man. This is what I like to refer to as the blues. The blues is a wonderful art form. It's a wonderful form of music. I don't profess, I don't profess that we're the greatest blues players in the world, but I can profess, and I admit, and I state that we have a great appreciation for the form of music that we call the blues, all right? And I hope, and I hope in the longer short time that y'all been alive, y'all have developed a taste for the blues and being from Louisiana, I bet you all have. I'm sure that y'all have. Because I'll tell you something, man. You can take it down the line. You can take it down the line. You can start with Robert Johnson. You can go up to Stevie Ray Bond. You can go all the way to fucking AC fucking DC. It all started with the blues. You know what I mean? All started with the blues. Way down. Uh, oh. Now that's a beer burp. Sorry. Boys will be boys. All right, guys, thank you. The reason I like the blues is because the blues, the blues has a few reasons why it's one of my favorite musics in the world. Number one, there's nothing better to drink an ice cold Budweiser beer to. Number two, is because there's no other better music in the world to make a little love to the person that you care about, huh? And number three, number three, is it's very good music for when you're sitting at home alone in your room. It's very sympathetic for you when your heart is trashed and stomped out and in pieces on the floor by some big titty bitch who you thought loved you, but left you and started fucking a stripper that lived two doors down. Now, now before y'all, y'all feminist group women start calling me a chauvinistic pig, I would like to state that I'm fully aware of the fact that men can be pricks, okay? I know for well, I have, I have several female friends who are very good friends of mine that I haven't even slept with that have told me their, have told me their story about how they met Prince Charming who rode up on the white charger was going to take him away, you know, to Never Never Land. They were going to live happily ever for, for fucking after or whatever. You know what? And it turns out that the bastard ended up fucking the stripper two doors down, you know? So, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, Shit. I'm saying shit. Exactly. Thank you. All right, so so that's why the blues was invented. The blues ain't nothing but, if I might quote Crossroads, a good man feeling bad, all right? And I kind of had the blues when I wrote this next song I want to sing for you. I'd like you all do me a favor. Occasionally I get some dumb motherfucker with enough balls to come up to me and say, Janie, you shouldn't play this song because it's too wimpy. Right. Now, folks, I live by a code. I live by a code. I'm a nonviolent person, and my code is: if you don't fuck with me, I won't fuck with you. Very simple. You know what I mean? I'm just out to have a good time. Thank you. But when I meet somebody who has a definite bad attitude like that, I have no alternative but to look that person in the eyes and say, "You know what? Fuck you. I like this song, and I'm gonna play it anyway." Ah, right, so check it out. Do me a favor, Lafayette, take two, three minutes out of your life. Listen to the lyrics of this song. They mean a lot to me. They may mean something to you. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. If the moon and stars should fall, it'd be easy to replace. I would lift you up to heaven and you would take their place. When I saw red, when I opened, you sing it for me. My heart just spilled on to the floor. I saw yours, I 
saw it when I closed the door. And I don't think I'm gonna love you anymore. Not yet, Scott Warren on the keyboards, man. Help me out on this. Oh, it must be. Fuck yeah! Woo! Joey!
Upstage for one minute, Mr. Joey Allen, Mr. Jerry Dixon on the guitars. Y'all live, y'all live in one hot motherfucking state, you know what I mean? Whew! Sweat my ass off tonight here. Y'all want a drink? Want some of this shit? Don't worry, it's not glass. Mama didn't raise no fool. All right. Sherry, can I have a real drink?
I cannot fucking hear you! Yeah! I'll tell you what, man. I get a great... I get a great opportunity as a front man of war. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Little Mexican mouthwash there, you know what I mean? I get a... I get a great opportunity as a front man of warrant to come out and uh, I get to joke around. I get to just... I get to just have a good time, you know, I get to get a buzz on, rock and roll for y'all. And, uh, but I'll tell you something, occasionally, because when you're on stage, you got the power of the microphone, occasionally you got to say something that's on your mind, something that's affecting you. I don't want to get political on you or anything like that, I'm just going to say this. First of all, first of all, I want to let you know, I'm going to talk to you like normal people tonight. I'm not going to give you the typical bullshit rock, you know, rock and roll lines or anything like that. I'm going to talk to you like I would talk to my friends, okay? And uh, if something comes up, you know, in my head, if I get something on my mind that I want to say, I'm going to say it to you. And this is one thing. We have a lot of different forms of music out today. Everything from thrash metal, heavy metal, rock and roll, hard rock, pop, dance, rap. There's a lot of different kinds of music out there. You know what? And I don't give a shit, man. I can deal with all of it, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't really care. If somebody's trying to make art, they can do whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what their motivation is. I don't care if they're out to make art or if they're out to make a buck. I really don't fucking care what they're about. What I do care about and what kind of bugs me, and occasionally we've, uh, we've heard rumors that there have been some, some bands that have big fucking mouths out there talking shit about us, but I just want to set this straight, all right? And that is when we come on stage... We do not push play, we play our instruments, you know what I mean? And I think all bands should do that. I don't wanna I don't wanna get too far into this, but I just wanna let you know as warrant as a band, when you come and you see us live and you pay to see us live, we do not use tapes, we do not use samples, we do not use sequencing. Everything is 100 percent live. What you see is what you get. You have my word. I swear to God. And I hate it when somebody with a big mouth makes me defend my fucking self. I hate that shit. But... I'll tell you what, if y'all if y'all hear any harmonic or keyboards tonight, they're coming from Mr. Scott Warren up here in the corner, who does a great job. Who also doesn't use any samples. There's a, there's a lot of bands out there doing this right now, and I, I really appreciate it. This is called Getting Back to the Basics. This is a guitar, a man, and a microphone, and I like this. Oh, and a, and a tambourine. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I hope y'all dig listen to this as much as we like playing it. I really enjoy this song. I want to take one quick second. I want to dedicate this particular song tonight to the fact that Mr. Joey Allen had a beautiful bouncing baby girl five days ago, six days ago. And to the fact that I just found out that I'm gonna have a beautiful bouncing baby girl in January. This goes out to, this goes out to Kylie and Taylor. Check it out, man.
Look at all you wild Louisiana beer drinking, Jack Daniels drinking, full moon kick my ass, party like a bunch of naked fucking savage motherfuckers! Woo! I'll tell you what, two things. Whoop, I spilled my cat. So I hate it when I do that. I'll tell you what. You can spill an import anytime you want, but never spill a Budweiser. That's a fucking shame. All right, two things real quick. Two things real quick. First of all, I don't endorse Budweiser because they pay me. Because they don't pay me, and they probably don't even know me. But I endorse it because I drink it. That's why I endorse it. Right. Number two. Second thing. Second thing. If I have offended anybody here tonight with my language, I would like to publicly apologize to you. I'm very sorry. I'd also, I'd also like to say that you can kiss my ass. You shouldn't have fucking come here in the first place. A cigarette. Y'all some noisy people. I know, it's, uh, I know it's a little bright in here. That's because we're filming a pay-per-view show tonight. That, uh... That's right, that's right. People all over America are paying to see us make assholes out of ourselves. I'll tell you what, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a redneck. I always have been. I lived down in the South for a while. I don't know how a redneck like me ever ended up in Los Angeles, but, but I do want to say, but I do want to say I thank each and every one of you for going through all the bullshit it took to come to this show tonight and for making me feel at home. Thank you very much. Sing this one. Sing this one with me. I think you all know the words. If you don't, just look to the person next to you and fake it, and everything will be cool. All right. Here we go. I got a picture of your house, and you're standing by the door. It's black and white and faded, and it's looking pretty warm. See the factory that I work Silhouetted in the back Your memories are great But man, they're really coming back I don't need to be the king of the world Let me hear you! Fucking cool, thank you. Spot 
sparkle in your eyes There's a color deep inside of that A blue suburban sky When I come home late at night And I remember to say I'll wrap my arms around you So I can feel you free I don't Y'all sound like a big fucking Arsenio Hall show, man. How? No, I'm just joking. Uh, well, needless to say, man, I'll tell you, we don't play in front of a crowd like this every night. I'll tell you what, man. I have. I'll admit the truth. I'll admit the truth, because I've done about 400 shows in the last three years. 12 different countries, everywhere where they got electricity. I'll tell you what, I don't feel like I need to blow smoke up a crowd's ass anymore. I'll say what I want to say if I want to say, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I say what I want to say to a crowd, and I'll tell you what, y'all sound excellent tonight. Thank you very much. Man. You really do. Make me feel good. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome the only man in rock and roll! I said, let me hear you say, Amen! God damn right. The only man in rock and roll who has more hair on his chest than Paul Stanley, Joey
side was louder than your side. They're both loud. It's gonna be like fucking tennis or something back and forth. <laughs> we'll just call it a draw. We'll say y'all got big mouse tonight, okay? You know. <laughs> Woo! Well, Joseph, that's a that's a damn full chest full of hair you got going there. Oh, yeah. Ooh. trickling down. Go ahead, give me back. That's right. That's right. Now remember this. You don't grow grass on a playground. You know what I'm saying? Now when I get in this mood, when I get in this mood, when I feel, when I feel like singing about ecology, when I feel like singing about saving the lakes, saving the rivers, saving the whales, saving the porpoises, you know what I mean? When I, when I feel like singing about Make it move. You know what I mean? I get, I get in this, I get in this good karma mood. You know, it's like karma's like flowing through your head, like kind of flowing, flowing over top of you, but like a goddamn summer breeze. You know what I'm talking about? There's only one song. There's only one song that can appease my appetite. There's only one song. They can make me want to come out to the front of the stage and do sign language to you. How about this one? Okay. They all got that down, you know, that's, that's how they land planes. They go, there's a stewardess on the ground who wants to... No, anyways. All right. I had something. I had something that I was going to say that was very important, and and you know what? I just remember what it was, and that is that this state of Louisiana. Now I, I know y'all think I'm giving you, I'm feeding you full of bullshit, but I'll tell you what. I want to. I, I just got to say something real quick. I don't. I don't want to like get get too far into this, but I want to say hello to my mother and father-in-law who are sitting over here. And I want to say, I want to say, thank God they had their daughter in Louisiana because that's the kind of woman that I married. You know what I mean? That's the kind of woman I want. Hot damn! And Joey, can you ask me one quick question? What state is your wife from? Louisiana. I'll tell you what, they got a lot of look, they got a lot of good looking girls out in LA, man. They look good, they're tan, they're happening. Kind of woman you want to take home, make a little love to, kind of woman that makes you night. You know what I mean? Even though she paid for those motherfuckers, it doesn't matter. Kind of woman, kind of woman you want to take home, she make you night for you. But I'll tell you what, you meet a girl from Louisiana, you marry her. You know what I mean? That's the kind of woman you wanna you wanna spend the rest of your life with. Hey! Joy! I'm upset about this stuff. Give me a little time, fucking pie! Wow! Hey, hey! Swing it on the bomb pouch, on the now! Sweet, 
way. I hate it. I hate it when this part of the night comes, man. But I just want to say that y'all have been an excellent crowd. Y'all have made me feel totally at home. I really, I really hope y'all feel like it was worth your while coming. And to those of you people who are watching on TV, man, I'll tell you what, I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, listen to somebody else. All right, y'all take care, man. Bye-bye. Y'all just don't want to go home, do you? Well, 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 well. Now y'all, y'all are sure I'm not keeping you from a dental appointment or anything like that. Shit, check it out, man. Nobody's leaving to beat the traffic or anything. That's happening. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. There's a lot of bands touring the United States of America right now. There's a lot of bands that can't draw half the people that we do here tonight. We've been, uh... Now, I'm telling you, I'm not saying this in a, in a conceited way or anything. I'm not patting myself on the back. I'm just saying that it's very tough out there. It's very tough to draw people to your show. And, uh, I'm just gonna thank... I thank God that... Not only tonight, but on the entire tour, we've managed to get a lot, a lot of cool people out to see us who have made us feel at home. Thank you. And, uh, and I'm going to do something right now that a lot of bands don't think is cool because they have that, they have that uh, kind of competition thing going. I don't believe in that. I'm a, you know, I, first of all, I could really give a shit less what they think I'm going to do it anyways. All right. Now, I'll tell you what. This is not only something that I think is a fun thing to do, but I think it's a cool thing to do, and I think it's the right thing to do. So I hope y'all get your hands up in the air, make some noise if I was to bring Firehouse and Trickster out to jam a song with us. All right? Yeah! Come on, make some noise. They kick some ass tonight. PJ, you perverted juvenile, you. Michael. CJ, that's a bad shirt, bro. Pete. Pete. Steve. All right, I'll tell you what. I would never, I would never be able to turn around and look these guys in the eyes if I was lying. And I'm gonna tell you the truth. We have not only toured together and played together every night, but we have partied and lived together and become friends as three bands. And if anybody's got shit to say about Firehouse and Trickster, they can say it to my face and I'll whoop their ass in front of everybody, all right? No, I'm serious. All right, now y'all check this out. Now y'all check this out. We're gonna do a song, one word! And I want y'all to sing it with me, sing it with all of us. One word kind of sums up the whole night, all right? I dig this song. Here we go. Boys, kick out!
everyone here tonight in the crowd and everyone, all those 17 million homes that were reaching out there. Check it out, three words. I want you to think about this on your way out. This is from us by Austin Tracer. You kicked out!